Hey guys, welcome to Nifty World NFT. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through three top stories where the Web 2 world meets the Web 3 space. What do I mean by this? Well, there are some big business moves happening in the world of sports, jewelry, and also social media. And if you are wondering what this is all about, this video is gonna take you through all of these and show you that convergence between the Web 2 space and the Web 3 space. This is what the future is going to look like. It's all very exciting and it's all here. So stick with me and let's dive right in. Okay, so a massive luxury brand in Tiffany & Co has moved into the Web 3 space and caused quite a stir. We are seeing that they are uh, causing a potential corporate cash grab, or are they doing something that really is innovative and disruptive within the NFT and Web3 space? Well, let me give you the lowdown on this. So um, what happened was, was Tiffany & Co basically released a collection of NFTs, which are digital passes that were minted and redeemed for custom crypto punk pendants. And these are pendants that matches the NFT art. So they'll have their own individual traits, their own way of working, uh, within this to create a physical product from the digital version of it. Um, you have to have already been a CryptoPunk holder in order to be able to take part in this. There are only 250 NFT TIFFs, or NFTIFFs as we like to call them, um, and this will give you the ability to essentially create your very own diamond encrusted pendant for the lovely and easy to swallow and digest price of 30 ETH or $50,000. Whew, that is a lot of money. But here's the news because that is old news. The news today is actually that a lot of people have decided that this is a good thing. And the collection as of a couple of days ago has actually sold out. Oh yes, this is the case, it has sold out. So that is probably a whopping $11.2 million, I think, for the uh, for Tiffany & Co on that. So make of that what you will. Uh, but the point is, is that since Yuga Labs actually acquired CryptoPunks, it granted all CryptoPunk holders commercial rights, which is something that wasn't really apparent before in the CryptoPunk community. CryptoPunks never really had any utility and now they kind of do. And this is kind of one of the first big moves in the space where you can see that utility being utilized, shall we say, but not necessarily by the owners, but by Tiffany and co. And here's what I think is quite interesting and might cause some even more interesting points of view here. Now, this is the point in their T's and C's, which is highlighted here. You might not be able to read it, so I'll read it out to you. By purchasing an NFT and linking it to your crypto punk, punk you grant Tiffany and company, its affiliates, agents, and others working for it or on its behalf, and, and this is the big word, an irrevocable, non-exclusive, royalty-free license to use your crypto punk and its underlying intellectual property if any, to design, manufacture, and sell the corresponding pendant. So what are you exactly giving away to Tiffany's here if you decide to mint your NFT to and get an NFT? This is the debate. Will you, do you own that license for this anymore? Does Tiffany's get the license for this? How are they able to use this? Are they going to just use this for their pendant or are they going to exploit this and use it in a different way? I'm hoping, not so much, but it does leave a little bit of a gray area, which I think a lot of businesses and also the Web3 space still need to work through. But nevertheless, it was an interesting one. Lots of people weren't sure about how this one was going to turn out. It's luxury meets digital. It's a new step into the space beyond what Gucci are doing, who are really leading the forefront, but also beyond what uh, other luxury brands and beauty brands are doing in the NFT space and the metaverse, and actually giving you something digital, so physical and digital. Whether or not we think it's a good thing or not remains to be seen, but it, 250 people who own CryptoPunks have decided to drop that much money on it. They obviously are bullish on this opportunity, so let's wait and see, but that has been a massive story of the week. Our second story of the week has been that Meta is expanding its NFT support on Instagram to 100 company, uh, countries. Now, we always knew that, that Mark Zuckerberg is going to have a big 
play on the Web3 space. We knew this when he changed the name of Facebook to Meta and the initial NFT test launch for them for him was happening back in May. They basically chose lots of creators uh, within the US to trial the opportunity to utilize your NFTs on the Instagram platform. Now, what does this mean? It basically means that you have to connect a digital wallet to Instagram and then you're able to share the NFTs that you own. So it's kind of like a way of flexing to be able to do that, which might be good. Some might think that this is another way in which you're going to potentially jeopardize your wallet by connecting it to yet another potential uh, platform or link that might get compromised in the future. Um, it's also something that they are thinking of expanding into um, in terms of stories as well, um, because they will be looking at technology like AR technology to take your NFTs, allowing it to then be utilized within stories as part of, I suppose, stickers on your stories or things like that as well. So it is something that they've been thinking of for a long time. There is a lot written on the site about how they're planning on doing this. There is a lot that's kind of going out there in terms of how this is going to look and feel. You can kind of see that here. If you think that it's important to flex your NFTs on a platform like Instagram, it might be up your street, but here's the word of warning for it. We did see this previously. We saw this with Twitter, where you could change your circular avatar to a hexagonal, hexagonal one with your NFT to show that you own that NFT. This lasted for a few months before people kind of went, do I really need to pay, pay this to show this off? I'm not so sure. So it's going to be one of those things where time will tell. But actually, the expansion of this rollout to see what the mass adoption of this is going to be will be really interesting. So uh, more than 100 companies are going to be sharing their NFTs on Instagram from now on. I think it is an interesting way to kind of showcase that you are in the Web3 space. I think it's another interesting move from meta or facebook or instagram however you want to call it to really start embracing this side of the of the new iteration of the internet and this new iteration of the internet is essentially go it doesn't really need instagram in a way if, in my opinion at least because you know instagram you're you're dictated by algorithms and all these kind of other points of what holds you to essentially mark zuckerberg holding his puppet strings Whereas actually the idea of kind of being decentralized is that we're not kind of running through a single corporation telling us what to do and connecting your NFTs. So this seems a little bit of a gray area once again, but if you are there to flex the NFTs, whether or not it's an ape, whether or not it's a dead fellas, whether or not it's a crypto Mori, or whether or not you've even just got yourself a Kevin, well, it's up to you. You've got the opportunity if you're in one of these hundred countries, which includes the UK, of course, as well. So for anyone watching from the UK, this might be something for you to look out for very, very soon. Oh, hello, you've just caught me on another NFT break. Well, whilst I've got you here, I just wanted to let you know that we're really pleased to say that we've partnered with the Tezos ecosystem for this video. Tezos is the blockchain that you can build, play and collect on, and its ecosystem is home to developers, creators and innovators from all around the world. It's also super environmentally friendly with an average energy footprint of just 17 global citizens. Now, knowing that, along with low gas fees and sustainability through innovation, you can rest assured that this is a green, clean blockchain. And don't just take my word for it. Some of the world's biggest brands are building their futures on Tezos, including Ubisoft, the New York Mets, Red Bull Racing, McLaren F1, and even Manchester United. So a huge thanks to the Tezos ecosystem for partnering with us on this video. And if you want to find out more about the Tezos blockchain, then make sure you check out all of the links in our description box below. But for now, let's get back to business. Right, our third and final story is coming from uh, the sporting world. And in this world of sports, what we're seeing is the US official soccer league or the major league soccer sign a board ape yacht club ape number six zero four five um to their virtual team and call him striker and they bought this for a whopping 100 eth and here is the ape in question um this is six zero four five um owned by um get engaged which is the company that has kind of brokered this move for the um for the major league soccer now what's going to happen here 
is that this is kind of something that really shows how NFTs and sports does go hand in hand. We've seen this very early on with NBA Top Shots. Uh, this is not something that is new news. Uh, this has been one of the earliest things that we've seen in the NFT space. But also, you know, major sports stars like Tiger Woods have got, got in quite early, as you can see here, with the NFT space as well. So sports fans, this is something that you might already be familiar with. But what is interesting about this story is that it's a one-of-a-kind signing okay so the idea is that it that striker as he is known is going to play on a virtual pitch at the major league soccer's all-star game on the 10th of august as a striker so this is bringing a immersive digital experience to a traditional soccer experience that we would have so these kind of go hand in hand it runs from the event itself runs from the 8th to the 10th but the virtual soccer game happens on the 10th how this all plays out and how we see this ape running around a soccer pitch uh, kicking a ball remains to be seen but again it's another move from another industry moving into the nft and web3 space so if you are a sports fan this may well be something that you want to keep an eye on and maybe watch as well if you can do that from wherever you are in the world exciting times i think it's great to see um the board apes kind of doing even more innovative stuff with their apes and that actually is all thanks to the the innovative minds of the companies in the web2 space who are seeing the potential of nfts so there we go. That is a quick roundup of all the things that have been happening and moving and shaking the NFT space. And that has been down to people in the Web2 space doing it. Well, there we have it. Some huge news stories coming out of the world of traditional businesses and also the world of Web3. No longer are the news stories just about NFT collections. We can definitely see how this space is moving and evolving and how people are moving into it at a rapid pace. Now, if you need any more help with either your own collection or your business or any way that you want to get involved into uh, NFTs, then make sure you check out videos like these. They're here to help you make a real head start when it comes to the NFT space. And also, if you are looking for any more help and guidance, you can, of course, DM me here and on Twitter. But thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.